Hi, Philip Hinkle back with you again from Event DV Magazine. Today's tutorial is on one of the features. It's been around in EDIUS for a while, but it's one that I can hardly do a project without using. It's the multicam feature. It's one of the best implementations of multicam of any of the nonlinear editors on the market. I hope it helps you speed through your edits and accomplish more work in less time. Enjoy the tutorial. Welcome back, everyone. Today's tutorial is on the multicam mode found in EDIUS. The multicam mode in EDIUS is one of the better implementations of any editing application out there for the multicam functionality. You'll see very soon just how quick and efficient the multicam mode in EDIUS is for editing a multi-camera project. Let's get started. First thing I need to do is I've got a sequence here that's empty and I've got a bunch of clips up here in my bin and I'm just going to simply start dragging them down one at a time and getting them on my timeline. Now of course these are all clips that are not synced yet and so I've got the big task ahead of me of syncing all these clips. There are a couple of ways you can do it. One, you can use the old-fashioned way by using your ear and lining up the waveforms or possibly using a camera flash if there was a photographer around. If you're using running time code, you also have the ability up here to set it to time code and it will use that time code to help sync your clips quicker. Okay, so now I've got all my clips on the timeline and I've got another sequence here already created that have these clips in it and trimmed up with all the extra off the front and back. Let's get started. First thing I want to show you is we have the ability in multicam mode to set the number of cameras we want to use. Right now I've got it set to 3 plus master. As you can see down here on my timeline I've got eight different layers a video which means I've got an eight camera multi-cam shoot obviously I need to see more than three cameras if I come back up to mode and number of cameras you can see there are multiple options there's an eight plus a master which I'm going to use but look down here there's a 16 camera option for multi-cam let me show that to you real quick because I promised in a previous tutorial I would here I've got a sequence that has a 16 camera multi-cam shoot now look at that that is one bunch of video tracks. If I come up here to mode and come down to number of cameras, you can see there's a 16 camera option. So let's check that out. I'm going to set it to 16, then I'm going to come back up to mode, and I'm going to go to multicam mode, or I could press the F8 key, but I will use the menu here. As you can see, there are 16 cameras there in that preview window. I'm going to expand it a little bit and zoom in on my screen so you can see it better. And there you have a 16 camera multicam shoot. Very simple to edit in EDIUS. Over on the right you will see my output monitor where the actual clips would be live. Now just for fun let me show you how this can work. I'm going to, just going to go up and turn my proxy mode on because there's no way I can run 16 data streams through. And if I press the enter key, you can see I've got 16 cameras playing there. Now, in our example, these are not quite playing in real time because even with proxy mode, those 16 cameras of data streams coming in are pretty intense. So the multicam mode in EDIUS has an option under view multicam for skipped frames. Right now I'm on none, which is true, fluid, real time. What this function allows you to do is come down and skip a few frames here and there to make playback a little bit easier on your system. It'll be a little bit jerky on your on your output windows, but you'll be able to see it just fine. And you'll be able to edit it with no problem. I'm going to select three frames on this, come down into my timeline and press the play key. That's playing much better. That's 16 cameras, folks, playing in real time on edits. We're skipping a few frames here and there, but it shows that you can edit a 16 camera multicam shoot in proxy mode very easily and very effectively. Now let's go back to our other track. We're going to only work with eight cameras just because it's a little easier to see what's going on with our timeline. Here's my timeline for the eight camera multicam edit. As you can see, I've got eight tracks of audio and video, and I have one ninth track down here. It's basically a DVAVI track recorded on an SD camera just to use the external audio so we don't have to use the ambient sound from all of our cameras that we're shooting with. 
as you can see I'm also in proxy mode denoted by all the checkerboard patterns this allows us to more easily edit a multiple camera very detailed shoot on just a regular laptop like I've got a quad core i7 laptop it'll handle it just fine in proxy mode in full res mode it's not going to make it just because of the data stream so we're going to leave it there in proxy mode if you're wondering about proxy mode check our previous tutorial out and you'll learn all about it okay so let's get started on this multicam edit first I've had set for my 16 camera multicam edit the skip frames at 3 I'm gonna see if this 8 camera one will work on 0 skip frames so if I've got it set to 0 I'm gonna come up to my mode number of cameras I'm gonna set it on 8 plus master as you can see now I have eight cameras sitting in my preview window and I have one master one up in the corner these are my eight cameras and what shows here is also showing over here in my output window so it's just like a real live camera setup now let's try and play this with zero skip frames and see how we do I'm getting just the tiniest bit of stuttering in there so I'm going to come down and set my skip frames to one and it's going to play back just fine now yep that's playing back really well now you're wondering how do I edit this multi-camera shoot in Edius with the multi-cam mode it's very simple first I'm gonna hit my space bar to get playing and as it's playing I can simply click on what window I want to go live on my output as you can see over on the right as I click on a different window it becomes live on the right over on the left you'll see I've got a blue border around whichever clip I just clicked on and the light blue border indicates what my live output is and as you can see over here that is indeed what my live output is now there's another even simpler way to select your clips one is you can just use the keyboard I'm gonna press 5 and you'll see 5 goes live I'm gonna press 4 you'll see 4 go live I'm gonna press 8 you'll see 8 go live I press 1 1 goes live it's very simple just use keyboard strokes now I've made a few cuts in there and as you can see down here in the timeline I've placed these little upside down triangle markers everywhere that I made a cut now I'm gonna start it up again and I'm going to zoom in on my timeline so you can see those actually be placed as I'm cutting my multicam. I'm going to press 6, see the mark show up. I'm going to press 1, see the mark show up. That's how it works. It places a mark on your timeline and places a cut down through all of your clips. Now you'll also notice that some of the clips are brighter and the others are dark those bright ones are the actual camera track that has gone live in your output monitor essentially Edius is muting the tracks you don't want and leaving live the tracks you do want one of the things that Edius does that makes it so easy to edit a multicam project is as you're editing along your timeline every now and then you'll miss a cut and instead of having to stop and undo and redo everything Edius has made it very easy to fix that I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on my timeline and let's say I missed this cut right here and instead of being right here at that spot it should be back over here well I could use my undo key and I could start back up and redo it all or I could just grab that little marker and slide it back and watch what happens my entire cut slid with it it's that simple to fix a missed cut in Edius multicam mode it just works so easily and fluently I can readjust any of my cut marks if I missed any of them along the way I'm gonna go ahead and finish out this multicam edit and I will join you back here in a little bit I'm just gonna go pick some new cameras and get a completed timeline here for you to look at here we are with our completed final multicam edit as you can see I've got many many cut points along the way just like many people would have when they record their event productions now there's some more housekeeping things we can do to clean our project up and get it ready for our final output one cool thing that Edius has implemented is a function called compress to a single track if I come up and select that option 
it's going to give me the option to create a new track. I'm going to select the V track. I could also select the VA track. I'm going to leave it with the default. If you click OK, as you can see, it's going to take all of your active and hot clips that we've selected. It's going to put them all on a single track. Look at that. It's super easy. That's our final product right there. Now, here's something else that's totally neat about Edius that just makes your productions go so much quicker. If I decided I wanted to come over and put a dissolve on every one of those clips, just a short one, like say a 10 frame dissolve that I've got a preset created for, I could come up and I could select every one of these clips with the lasso tool, grab my dissolve, drop it down just on one of the cut points, and Edius will do its thing. It will churn away for a moment, and when it's done, you're going to have a 10 frame dissolve on every clip. If I zoom in on my timeline, you can see those a little bit easier. Now, there's one other thing that I like to do, and that is come down and I will mute all of the underlying tracks beneath all those dissolves because sometimes if things get moved around or you modify a few things those lower tracks can sometimes show through a dissolve and mess up your project so it's just a little safety thing that I always do one thing to keep in mind is if I were to unmute some of those tracks later on in my project I can reuse these clips I can go back into my F8 multicam mode and tweak my project a little bit more if I need to these clips are all still there they haven't gone anywhere we've just muted them now I'm gonna reduce my screens down a little bit so I can show more of my timeline because I need to work with my audio if you remember correctly we had one track of external audio to clean our our sound up in our project well obviously right now all of these different audio tracks are also playing so I'm just gonna come up and I'm gonna click on the little speaker and I'm gonna mute all of my audio tracks except the final one this will give me a much cleaner sound when I play my project back it's obviously not gonna be as loud but it's going to be cleaner and then we just need to open up our audio and we can adjust the audio levels of our main audio track and we have a very clean and finished project that pretty much sums up all the cool features and just how easy and simple multicam is to use in Edius. It is one of the more powerful implementations of the multicam mode. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Come back in a few weeks where we'll be showing you Pluralize for Edius and how to sync all those clips up for your multicam edits. Take care.